to wish. <laughs> hello, hello! Welcome back! Welcome back to another episode of our Scuffed Beginner Friendly Tutorial Series. Today, we're up to... What episode are we up to? 12? Today, we're up to episode 12. And we're going to be working on... <gasps> hips! Today, we're going to be working on hip X. We're going to be going over our art meshes, our warp and rotation deformers, our body Z, creating and changing parameters. Uh, we're going to be working on glue, hip X, adjusting glue part 1, adjusting warp deformers, copying leg meshes and warps, snapshot, uh, I can't say that word, snapshot tip adjusting glue part two and then we'll have a summary and outro let me just find my key find for removing the skirt um this one no not this one. Oh, this is my strong <laughs> redeem ah hips So yeah, today we're going to be going over hips. Spicy, spicy. Art meshes. Okay, so today we want to start off with our meshes. So let's start off by meshing our hips and our other hip items. So at the moment I have an automatic mesh generated, so I'm going to go into the manual mesh edit and erase this automatic mesh that we have. And then you can select the point tool and start drawing points around the hip. And we're going to stop in the center of our hip and draw a line down. And then draw vertical lines. And once you've done this, you can go to Auto Connect and then grab your lasso tool and select what you've created. Control C and then reflect horizontally by right clicking. And then I went Control V and pasted the mesh that we originally had. And now grab your point tool and you can just join those top and bottom points and then go Auto Connect. And there you have it. So now you can grab the lasso tool and copy that mesh that you've created by going Control c and then tick. We're going to paste this onto our other hip items so that they can all move together when glued. So just erase those uh, automatic meshes that you have and then paste. There you go. And then tick. Go onto our other items and do the same. Okay, so we have all of our hip items meshed and now we're going to start on our legs. So I'm just going to grab my thigh and go into the manual mesh edit, erase the automatic mesh that we have on there. And you want to select the stroke mesh mapping tool and draw a line down the center of your thigh. And here I just adjust the mesh width, the repeated density, and the number of vertices in the mesh width until uh, your thigh uh, is surrounded by these points. <laughs> I keep trying to adjust this mesh width by typing in uh, like 250, but it wouldn't let me go over 200. So you can actually just grab your selection tool and um, adjust those points in the middle, go control and manually adjust that width. So yeah, just play around with these until it looks right. You want the repeated density to be around 70. And again, you can just move those points around by holding control.
go shift E to confirm and then I grabbed the selection tool and I ended up just uh, moving around these points so that they weren't too far away from the leg and then select four division and there you have it go tick okay so now that we've got our hip and thigh meshed we need to work on gluing so I need some points that are going to be overlapping for both the hip and the thigh. So go into a manual mesh edit for both of those. Selected the top points and deleted them. And then I went into my hip and I selected those bottom points. I went control C and then pasted them onto my thigh. And now grab the point tool, select your thigh, and then connect those new points from the hip to the existing mesh points of the thigh. And basically what this allows us to do is we now have some points from the hip that is on the thigh mesh that are overlapping and we need to do the same for the hip as well. So I just went onto the hip and you can see the little grey points that are existing on the thigh mesh. So I just manually went in and uh, aligned some points with those lines. And when you have overlapping points on both the thigh and the hip meshes, you can actually glue them together. So if you see, when we select both of them, there are now these little green lines. When you zoom in, you can select all of the ones that are highlighted that way. And then you can go Control G and you can glue them together. So I'll show you what that means later on. Yeah, basically we have the hip and the thigh glued together now. So I just pasted the thigh mesh onto my tights. And then once you've done that, you can grab your tights and the thigh. And there will be overlapping points that you can glue together as well. Control G and they're glued and then you can go tick and do the same for the other items. So now that I've glued the tights to the thigh I'm now going to work on the calf. I erase the automatic mesh that was generated and I select on the stroke tool. You can hold control and adjust those points just like we did for our thigh and then adjust the mesh width the repeated density and the number of vertices in the mesh width. When you're happy with that you can go shift E and it will confirm the stroke being edited. And then for division, copy, tick. And now we need to glue our thigh to our calf. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the hips and the thigh. We're going to grab the bottom points of our thigh and then grab the top points of our calf and then paste. And then you can grab that point selection tool and then join those points together. So once you're happy with your calf mesh, you can actually go through and lasso tool it and then copy it and then paste it onto your legging. And once you've done that, you can glue your leg sections together. So again, just highlight those overlapping points and go control G. 
and I've been glued together and you can do the same for your other leg items that are overlapping So I go through and use this technique for all the other items like the feet as well I'm using that stroke edit tool for division and copy and gluing those sections together what this is going to allow us to do is when we warp one of these items the other items are going to move with it because they're glued so once we've done the hip and the leg mesh we can move on to gluing the hip to the torso so we can go into our hip mesh and lasso tool those top points and then go into our torso and paste them after deleting the unnecessary points. Then grab that point tool and connect those points. And once you're happy with that, Again, you can lasso those torso points and then paste them onto the hip mesh. Join them together and look out for those grey lines. Uh, join those lines so that they're overlapping and then you can glue them together and that's all of our meshing done so now our hip and torso are glued together when we look at our body X you can see that our hip moves with our torso so everything is kind of dragged along with each other it looks a bit messed up now but we can adjust that glue later on Warp and Rotation Deformers Okay, so we've just finished all of our meshes and we're going to start creating Warp Deformers and Rotation Deformers So I select all of my upper body items and create an upper body Warp Deformer After that I create a Rotation Deformer on top of this Warp Deformer And I call it Upper Body Z You can hold Ctrl and adjust it And I go through and do that for my lower body too lower rotation control drag and I created keyforms on top of that rotation deformer I decide to select all of my upper body items I created a warp deformer for upper body top and keyformed it And then I decided to select all of my lower body items and I dragged it out of the upper body warp deformer. And I created another upper body Z rotation deformer and I held control and dragged it down just to adjust that placement and make sure it's in the center of the body Body Z After we have keyformed our rotation deformers we can start by skewing the body 
So on body Z, when you drag it to negative 30, you want it to be angled to the left. And you can reflect that motion. And you can see the body Z is beginning to be formed. I created a new rotation deformer for the head. Held control to adjust it. Created keyforms on body Z. And angled it to move with the body. And reflect motion. And I kept adjusting it until it looked right. So you want it to be kind of leaning to the left and the right with your hips moving into the lean. Creating and changing parameters. And here I created new parameters. I created one for hip C with negative 30, positive 30 and hip X with the same values. And then hips Y as well. I changed the values of body Z for the rotation deformer onto hips X. So that our upper body moves with body Z for the lean and our hips move separately. Glue. So you can grab the glue tool at the top right and select on the yellow tag for which glue item you want to change and basically glue is a binding process of attaching overlapping vertices of two art meshes together so the A to B, so the red to green uh, we're adjusting the weight ratio between the upper green section and the lower red section you want to use it sparingly red uh, you can use it to adjust the bottom section and favour those vertices more. And vice versa, the green glue will be favouring that top section and pulling the vertices towards the green. And you can play around with this. The yellow section will be favouring that section in between. And you can keep uh, playing around with it to adjust the weight of the glue. So the weight priority goes from 0 to 100%. Um, so you're either favouring the top part or the bottom part and you're trying to balance out those weight ratios so that it doesn't look strange. So here you can use yellow and kind of pull the green down and the yellow towards the green to even it out. So there's little red and yellow dots, those are the vertices and you're either pulling them together or away from each other. And again just be uh, sparing with the amount of glue that you use with the weight adjustment but also don't be afraid of it because it is fun to use when you get the hang of it.
Uh, so I created a warp deformer for my garnet and I um, keyformed this warp deformer and just adjusted the little points, the vertices, so that they could um, look less strange. For a glue, however, you don't actually need to um, keyform the glue, even though I do, uh, I'm not sure why. But yeah, um, the weights can be set per vertex, but not per keyform control. And I ended up uh, gluing my garnet to my hips. In my torso. And I just used this uh, glue technique of adjusting the weight distribution. I'll also link um, some useful tips down below, like with the live 2D manuals and tutorials. They have a lot of information about glue function terms and about the different uh, weight ratio of vertices. And um, yeah, it helped me understand glue a little bit more. A useful tip is that after setting the glue, try to move the parameters that affect it and check carefully to make sure that the shape has not been lost. Also, uh, by adjusting opacity of weight, you can set the opacity of the weighted color portion. Also, the higher the percentage setting of the brush weight, the quicker the adjustment, but start out low and get used to the adjustment. The larger the brush size, the wider the area to be adjusted, but it is recommended to start out small and make incremental adjustments. And when you're happy with the movement of the body Z parameter, you can start by working on the hips X. Hips X. So we're going to create a warp deformer for our leg. And we're going to call it leg X. Now you can hold control and adjust that warp deformer. And just adjust it so that it is outlining the leg. It doesn't need to be too big. I adjust the number of conversion divisions to 15. And after you're happy with that, you can select the brush selection tool and select the top three quarters of the vertices for the for the warp deformer and I use my key bound temporary deform tool and remember um, this deform tool works per key form so here if you key form it and you change key forms you'll need to redo the temporary deform path but basically I use this tool uh, just to warp the leg and move it so that it aligns with the hip movement. I remember your hip is still glued to the leg so the items will still be dragged around in proportion to the glue. And you can just uh, pull each point of that path and add new points as well to get the look that uh, you desire. And I do it for negative 30 as well. I go tick and select the brush tool and select the whole leg and then create a new path on negative 30 for the keyform on hip X parameter. And then I pull the leg so that it aligns with the hips a bit better. And this is going to be just for a general edit of the leg. And we're going to go in into um, 
the glue of each section and also the warp deformers for each item to uh, align the meshes and the garnet a little bit better. So yeah, for negative 30 I like to be, I like the knee to be pulled down and then for positive 30 I like the knee to be pulled to the top right. So you're moving with the hip movement. Adjusting glue part one. Okay, so we're just going to start by fixing this glue. So uh, with the little pelvic area, you can see that the underwear is a little bit messed up. So I'm just uh, distributing the weight towards the red section. I also hide the arms so I can see a little bit better. And we're going to go into... Again, you don't, you don't need a care form it. I don't know why I do that, but... Um... I think it's just for my peace of mind, but you don't need a keyform it. Uh, and I go into um, each keyform for the parameters for hips X and body Z, and I just uh, adjust the distribution of weight once again. It looks a little bit funny. <laughs> additional warp deformers and this little section here looks a little bit messed up so what you can do is actually create a new warp deformer so torso hip x just for that upper body torso and I keyformed it to hips x I increased the number of conversion divisions and um, though it is glued you can still warp it so I just pull the green lines of the warp deformer the bezier divisions and I also uh, pull those uh, conversion divisions too, to make it a little bit less wonky. <laughs> I also do the same for my mesh. So I created a new warp deformer for it, and then I adjusted it so it could align better. And I go through and I do this for each section, like the leg. Just creating new warps keyforming them and adjusting them. I don't know why but the hip mesh was actually so frustrating. <laughs> I couldn't get the little parts to align but uh, we got there in the end. And now we want to work on the other leg. Copying leg meshes and warps. So for this I ended up copying the meshes of my right leg by lasso tooling. Control C, tick. And then I pasted it onto my left leg. Oh, from the VTuber model's perspective it would be the right leg, but yeah. And then I reflect horizontally this mesh by right clicking. And then I go through the gluing process all over again. Okay, so now we can grab that leg X warp deformer for our right leg and we can go control C and we can actually paste that warp deformer and you can reflect horizontally. Make sure to reflect the hip X parameter. Now it's going to appear all the way over here. Don't worry, we can hold left and move it on top of our leg 
And I basically just adjust this warp deformer so that it kind of matches the other leg, uh, the placement of it anyway. And I do that for each keyform. It's not actually going to be moving the leg yet because we need to go into the top right section of the inspector where it says deformer. And for our leg warp, we're going to make it the child of the leg X warp deformer that we've just copy and pasted. Snapshot tip. Okay, at the bottom here, you can take a little snapshot by clicking on the camera. And you can move the parameter to negative 30 keyform. And this creates a little snapshot of the middle keyform. You can select the brush tool and move the foot over to where it should be. And this just helps to see uh, how your VTuber model is moving between keyforms. Adjusting glue part two. And here I just adjust my glue for the other leg. I know that this video is quite fast paced um, there are a lot of things that I'm going over, so if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to comment them down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions if I can. Or if you have any tips if I'm doing something crazy or weird, or if there are shortcuts, please let me know. I, I love learning uh, new tips and tricks. What is interesting for glue is the glue compatibility. So when you select on like the green or red or yellow glue or the A to B, the green and red glue, um, you can adjust the compatibility in the inspector section on the right. And the compatibility of glue is basically the degree of effectiveness of the glue setting according to Live2D, their manual and tutorials. So unlike weights, the compatibility cannot be controlled vertex by vertex, but it can be controlled by key parameters. So on one keyform, if you want the compatibility to be weak, so they're not glued together, uh, and then on one keyform you want it to be strong, like 100%, uh, so they're actually bound together, um, this is a good way to adjust that and use it to your advantage. I also created a warp deformer for the garnets and uh, just adjusted the position a little bit better on the keyforms. If the glue isn't working, the warp deformers might work for making the alignment a little bit better. Summary and outro. So yeah, this is the end result for hips X. Uh, in our next video, we're going to do hip C, where we're going to have like a little side step with our body movement so that with our weight distribution, our leg is going to move to accommodate that weight change. And then after our hip C, we're also going to work on hip Y. And then we will work on our modeling and physics scene blending settings. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Again, please feel free to comment any questions down below and make sure to check out those guides that I have linked down below. I'll put as much information as I can down there because I know it can help some people that are more uh, theoretical than visual based for learning. So yeah, grab some food and water and take care of yourself. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>